Hello, my wonderful Coldplay fam. In this video, I'm going to be talking about the Galantis remix of My Universe and why I think it's actually the best version. Now, I'm going to be running down a few different things, including the tempo, production, beat, progression, and the rap section at the end. Now, if you haven't heard this song, definitely go check it out. Or if you want to watch this video first to kind of get an understanding of why I just appreciate it so much and all the different aspects of it, you can do that too. Now, before we get started, of course, the best way you can help me out, help this channel out, and help spread the good message of Coldplay's music, definitely subscribe to the channel so others you know, see these videos and hear about why Coldplay is just so amazing. So, without further ado, let's dive into this uh, analysis of this remix. To start things off, the tempo if you haven't noticed, is a little faster. Now, if you don't kind of pay attention to those things, you might understand that, okay, yeah, it's a little more upbeat, but why is that? It's because the tempo is actually at 120 BPM and the original is at 105, so it's 15 BPM faster. So just to give an example of what I'm talking about, here is the original BPM, 105. One fifteen, or no, one twenty. That's right. Which is this version, the Galantis version. You, you are my universe, and I just want to put you first. So oh, you, you are my universe, and you make my heart light up inside. So as you can tell, it's very much more upbeat, right? And that's obviously because it's quicker but it also kind of just makes it a little bit more exciting, a little bit more dancey. And it's kind of interesting because 120 BPM is just known for being the perfect time. I know that sounds kind of weird, but a lot of popular music is at 120 BPM. And that's because there's just a natural feeling to it, natural tone to that. And I know a lot of people relate it to the natural walking motion. So when you walk, you know, you're just normally walking. Uh, the tempo that you walk at is typically around 120 BPM. So it's almost inherent with our nature to feel that. So I think this tempo works way better with this song, uh, just giving that more upbeat, dancey kind of feel. And it just, I don't know, is more exciting to me when I listen to it. When I first heard the song, you know, that's not what I first thought of is, oh, you know, this is a, a little bit faster, I thought, Wow, this is more exciting. So that was the, the first point. Now moving on to the production and the mixing because there's a lot of really cool things that are done in this mix that are not done in the original. So to start things off at the very beginning of this song, there's kind of this interesting thing done with the equalizer or EQ. I don't know if you've heard that term before, but it kind of has to do with the the tone of the, the voice. So in a normal setting, you know, there are high ends and low ends, but when you take away different ends of the equalizer, um, it, it affects the, the voice. So if you get rid of the high end, it sounds like things are kind of muffled or underwater. And they do this in this song at the very beginning uh, with a few of the background sounds, and it just creates this sense of, you know, of, of things are getting started. It's not quite up to speed yet. Now in the original, it kind of just starts things off, right? In this version, the Glances version, it kind of just, you know, creeps up a little bit and then it finally hits you with that beat. So I just appreciated the way this started a little bit better um, because it's just not right in your face all of a sudden. Another thing that I wanted to mention about the production was it, it makes really great use of panning. So in music editing, uh, you can pan things to different ears, right? That's, you know, you, I'm sure you've heard of stereo sound before. That just has to do with the placement of uh, speakers. And when you're listening to music, typically you have two headphones on, you know, like um, one on your left, one on your right ear. and what they do in this song is make great use of panning. Like, I think it's at 
the end of the first chorus in this version, there's this kind of like saxophone sound that they like pan way far to the right and left and it creates this really eerie effect but it just sounds super cool. And they do that with a few different things um, and it's just like the way they place all the different instruments is just, is, is perfect. Um, another thing that I wanted to mention about the production is how at the end of the first big chorus, Chris, when he says, put you first, it kind of has that weird vocal effect and I thought that was a very nice touch. And the last thing that I wanted to mention about the production is that they use different sounds, kind of like what I said with the saxophone. They use these different sounds like this drop effect in on the offbeat. And I just, I loved the instrumentation and just the use of these different synths in this song. I think it was just, it was perfect. And they just did a great job, like I said, with the panning, with the mixing and all of that, including in this song. So now, moving on to the beat because there are a lot of interesting things that they do with the rhythm of this song, this version, and I just needed to point them out. So first of all, uh, the there's this like percussive lead at the first big chorus. It goes like bum 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 bum, right? And it's it's very syncopated and it's kind of used in like dance music, right? You, you, you've you heard that kind of tone before. And I think just adding that to this mix, especially since it's so much more dancey, just felt really cool. Um, another thing about the beat is that it has this somewhat samba beat. So it goes like, like, bum, ba dum, ba dum, ba, right? Dum, da ka da, it plays off of that feel. So just the, the rhythmic syncopation of the beat itself during the song is it just adds to that dance feel and it adds to that excitement and, and uh, emotion, if you will, with this song. And another thing about the beat is that after the first chorus, it just, okay, so during the chorus, it's not like super hyper. It's not like super big beats or an 808 or anything. But after the chorus, it becomes super dancey. And I think just in the overall feel of this song, that just makes so much more sense than what was implemented in the original. Because it, it kind of feels like those drop moments after the chorus in Sky Full of Stars. You know what I mean? Like it just, it feels so exciting. You you present the chorus all neatly packaged in, in these just beautiful tones, melodies, and just it, it feels really good, but then right after that, it kind of drops off and then just really hits with that beat. And you just want to dance along to it. And I just think that was implemented so well in this song and it just felt so good. It felt so passionate and uh, just worked really well, especially, like I said, with this dan dance beat. So moving on to the next part, uh, I want to talk a little bit about the progression, uh, the, the chord progression and the melody. One thing that I absolutely loved is that they changed the chord progression in this song. It's very slight, but if you notice it, I think it's during, I think it's during those dance parts uh, at the end of the choruses, like the post-chorus sections, if you will. Uh, it adds this chord progression, this chord in the mix. So typically, for the entire song, here, I'm gonna play on the piano again, it has this, this chord progression. Right? But at the end of the chorus, the post-chorus, it adds this chord progression. It happens for just a slight moment, but hearing that chord in the mix was just phenomenal. Like, it, it just, it made me so excited. I'm like, you know, why did they spend so much time on this remix, you know, to make it sound so cool? Because that chord, uh, just to explain what it is, it's a major three seven. And it, that is, it's first of all, a very bizarre chord to use. But it's interesting that they used a new chord progression in this remix. And it was just, I don't know, just very exciting to hear something different. And I think 
overall in this version, part of the reason why I love it so much is that it is so different than the original. You know, probably listening to it, somebody might might just think, okay, maybe it's just up tempo. But as I'm explaining in this, there's so much that is different and unique about this version that I just love, including that chord right there. Another thing uh, about the progression or the melody actually that's used is they have this really cool line that I just, I love so much and they added this really cool texture. The line goes like, I think it's in the uh, post course as well. It goes like, and it, I don't know, I just really liked hearing that melody. I'm one for uh, kind of secondary mel melodies or counter melodies within a verse or post chorus or something like that. And just hearing that line um, and the timbre of that voice that they use is just really cool. They use this, it sounds like a voice that is used as a sample. Um, so it was kind of nice to hear that. I think it's Chris's voice used as a sample that has that line. And it's just really nice to hear that. All right, moving on to the final section, the rap section. Now, it was really funny because when I got to the end of hearing this song, I just was so excited with everything that I had heard so far and was just impressed with everything, I totally forgot that there was a rap section, which is crazy because this was one of my favorite parts. So when it got to this section and it had this like, kind of like hip hop trap beat and everything kind of just drops except for the voice and this beat, I was just overwhelmed. This It was just such a good mix and such a good syncopation that I think worked so much better than the original and you know you hear the haze in the background and everything which is in the original but I think just everything combined was just it, it fits so much better and it was very strong the beat in this this version it has this like 808 too and this really strong kick that it just it just worked seamlessly and and it just made it sound made the rap sound more hype it was more exciting to hear this part now as i mentioned this is one of my favorite sections of the song and to make it even better i just wasn't expecting so that was kudos to you for for making making that sound even better so uh, another thing during this rap section is that they add uh, an instrument near the latter half of it i believe with this kind of uh this string sound, it's like a synth synthesized string, um, which I thought was really cool, but also during that part, the second half of the uh, the rap, they add the... Uh, that chord again. So hearing that chord held out a little bit longer in this section just made me, made me really happy, so. That is everything that I had to say about this song, and I know I kind of just ran through everything, um, but I'm just really excited about hearing the song and it's definitely more interesting to me, more exciting. I obviously really love the original, but the fact that I love this even more, it's just, I was not expecting. Of course, if you've made it this far in this video, you obviously enjoy hearing what I have to say or you at least want to know what I have to say. So the best way to help me out, like I said, is to subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated. Um, you know, I've been doing these Coldplay videos for quite a while now and I will continue to do them. Uh, but also if you have any suggestions for what I can do with these videos, definitely comment below too. If you want to hear, you know, more covers, more tutorials, things like that, definitely comment below. But thank you again so very much for watching and I will see you again in the next video. Until then, peace.